first, it got into his neck. It actually got into his neck. Um, and he was doing this, and I went, <laughs> Maybe like show what you guys got. So this is the first um, technical demonstration of TrueLight. Okay. So RGB LED panels are fine for a lot of applications, dive events, in camera. Well, the LED panels are being used for lighting. RGB is okay, but it does have some problems. Skin tone rendering, some skin tones are like with LED panels because LED has a very narrow output of red, green, and blue. So there's something that's quite broad, full spectrum, like a tungsten lamp. You sort of end up with skin tones and certain objects that just don't really look right. Yeah. But it's one of the things that are a lot of our virtual production clients have said is, yeah, okay, we like it. We we'll have to spend a lot of time doing makeup to get people to look right. I do a lot of post work, a lot of work in the grey to, to get people to look right. Yeah. So what we've done, yeah, we've done stage is a wall of BP2. It's a RGB LED panel driven by Brompton. Very common in live events, corporate and virtual production. On the left, right and top, we have some CB5 panels that have a red, green, blue, but also white emitters. Now, when we... Let me see if I can... Sure. Sorry. Can I possibly use that? Thank you. Yeah, well, it's, 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 very, it's very nice. I will be very interested in the chart. Looks like a much for that one. No. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. I mean, the. Yeah. So, currently, when the CB5 panels with the RGBW LED were made, we calibrated them so we can determine exactly what every pixel can do. Not just the pixel, but each red, green, blue, and white dye. When we connect these panels to a processor, we do get a number of options that allow us to adjust exactly what, how these panels manage the spectrum. Right now, true light is turned off. And the CB5 panels are essentially just running in RGB mode. Now, you can see there are certain objects on the build that just don't quite look right. I'm just going to move the chair just to hide. You can have spots where you can actually have it like very colorful with all the RGB that we do. That'll be off camera for sure. So, if you look, the red t shirt is too bright, it's quite vibrant, not very realistic. The tangerines kind of look more like tomatoes, as one of our clients aptly said. And if you look at the actual content and the foreground items, it's just not particularly realistic. Mm. When we enable true light, you can see that immediately a lot of those colours jump into looking a lot more realistic. Would you mind actually ask uh, where is the true light on now? True light is on. Okay. So now we're mixing in that fourth emitter, the white emitter. Yeah. And because we have that spectral output, I keep it. You can see that things like without true light, deep yeah. skin tones are a little bit too reddish, particularly. I mean, even on the light and dark side of the space, a little bit too reddish. If we skip through some of these uh, shots. You can see that that red tone, he looks okay, but it doesn't particularly make him look like he's really there. His skin tones also don't look very natural. Yeah. Yeah. So if I turn far away, true light off, and then true light on, you see his, his skin tones are a lot more. Yeah. There is a particularly good one which is. This clay, we have a very slightly focus. Uh, For this clay, we have a very gradual trans uh, gradient between a sort of warmer and cooler colour temperature. If I turn off true light, you're not really getting any of that off the side screen, you're just getting this kind of reddish hue. It really doesn't look like we've just sat them out to the desert. If I turn that on with true light, 
Um, as we can see, the skin tones are a lot more realistic and they do start to reflect that gradient between the warmer and darker, uh, the warmer and cooler colour tone. Okay. We can also adjust the spectrum in real time. Right now, with True Light on, we are using bits, uh, bits of the red, green, and blue. We're actually also using a lot of the white diode uh, spectrum as well. We can, as I start to make my spectral preference narrower, so we focus more on the individual red, green, and blue dyes, not so much white. Actually, update in real time. Thank you. So the idea there is just to give people who are using LED as a lighting source. You no, know, it still will portray things like um, give you soft light and also give you uh, reflections, but it will also then give you, when you've got items up here and live with it, much better colour reproduction. I think he's going to want to go in here. <laughs> so that's what we're showing at. Um... Sorry, Thanks, I'm not, I'm not really waiting. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, very cool. And then when is it, is it available now or? So this is a technical demonstration. It's our first demonstration of um, True Light. We are, Ever? To see? Ever? Have you guys first this time? This is the first time. This is the first time. I saw this for the first time on Saturday afternoon when they turned it on. <laughs> uh, obviously our engineering team who is in the UK is actually, you know, been working on this for quite a while. Yep. It's also the first, um, it's also the first um, technical demonstration, so it's not complete. We are looking to have panels with this technology in the market towards the second half of this year. Okay. Um, but it will be in huge quantities, it will be in smaller numbers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so is this, are you, I'm, are you guys working with Ro as uh, the panel manufacturer, you just have to have the booth? Um, Bro are the manufacturer of these panels. But you guys uh, are the, the processing manufacturer. Okay. And it's not proprietary to Bro, so there's nothing stopping any other panel manufacturer doing this. We did it with Bro first because we've, we've known them for quite a long time. Our engineering team and their engineering team know each other quite well. Okay. Um, and yeah, there's nothing to stop other manufacturers doing this as well. <laughs> So this technology is for um, any LED wall or LED panel that can do RGBW. Yes, which is not a lot of right now, but people okay. are working on them. And if you're talking to a manufacturer and they say, oh, oh we can't do it with Brompton, just let us know. We got an engineering team that's out in Shenzhen, China, where all the LEDs made. Okay. His job it is, is to basically go to the manufacturers and tell them how to get our technology into their panels. Okay. Cool. Do you want me to take a picture of your badges? Sure. You can... That's uh, my badge. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Uh, let's see if you have any more questions. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Martin. Thank you. Luke, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.